More training and awareness is needed to support children living with ME or chronic fatigue syndrome, according to a new report. The Oxfordshire ME Group for Action found medical professionals are often poorly trained to recognise the condition and provide appropriate support. It's estimated a quarter of a million people in the UK are affected by the illness. The government spends less than £1 per person with ME each year on research and support. 68% of children with the condition will become too ill to attend school. The report suggests earlier diagnosis and better awareness among schools and social services would make a huge difference to families. Catherine de Costa reports. Once an active, outgoing child, 20-year-old Zoe Fabian from Whitney is now mostly housebound. She suffers constant pain in her joints and struggles with everyday tasks. Her mother says ME has robbed her of a normal life. People think of ME as being tiredness, but it's, it's a very painful condition. So that's definitely the worst thing for her, pain in her joints, pain in her eyes, pain in her head. And then her cognition um, really sort of, it does fluctuate, but it's, it's pretty bad most of the time. ME is a debilitating illness, often associated with extreme fatigue. Symptoms can vary, but often include chronic pain, disordered sleep, digestive problems, as well as poor memory and concentration. There is no cure, and many with the condition never fully recover. Last year, a series of national demonstrations tried to raise its profile, calling for more funding and research. More recently, MPs held a debate on the subject at Westminster. Now, an Oxfordshire campaign group's published a small study into young people's experiences of chronic fatigue syndrome. There's still a real lack of understanding in the medical profession and the education system about ME, and uh, uh, there's no, not really any system set up to deal with it, um, and people tend to fall between lots of cracks. Little is known about what causes the illness. Charities like the Buckingham-based ME Association have been funding biomedical research projects like this one in Oxford. Dr Carl Morton's trying to develop a test for ME by comparing blood samples taken from healthy individuals and those with the condition. So we're trying to find a signature, like a barcode if you like, that's, that's predictive of ME CFS. And so the long-term objective would be to try and find a barcode that separates the patients for controls and then to look more into whether there are anything in, in those patients that could be a target for a drug. Because uh, at the moment, pharmaceutical companies aren't interested in this illness because there is no target. Guidance on diagnosis and treatment of ME is currently under review. The government says it's continuing to invest millions in research to improve understanding of the condition and ways of treating thousands of patients like Zoe. Catherine de Costa, BBC South Today.